dear students in the last week i had given you the syllabus of uh, the uh, the subject entrepreneurship development and i hope that all of you have gone through the syllabus because i have given even the explanation of the syllabus and what is the objective of studying this subject since you all are i know that all of you are commerce students and all are thinking something of business therefore how to run how to start a business that idea is taken out from this subject therefore this is one of the core subject of your studies therefore let's begin from today onwards the regular classes on entrepreneurship development and in today's class i'll be explaining uh, basics of that subject that is the word entrepreneurship and i'm going to explain the giving you the meaning and definition of the word entrepreneurship at the same time the connected words are there that is enterprise i'll be explaining what is enterprise then later i'll explain what is entrepreneurship then there is a connected word comes entrepreneur so here is a chart you can look into so in this chart see entrepreneur then uh, entrepreneurship and then enterprise so what is this this uh, at the after the explanation you will come to know that entrepreneur is a person entrepreneurship is a process of action and enterprise is a object that's why these are connected these three words are connected that's why in the whole today's class my aim is to explain these three words so let's begin with the first word that is enterprise enterprise means a project or undertaking that is especially difficult complicated or risky see this is a general meaning it's not just for the business sake what it says is enterprise is a project something that is started or planned out a undertaking that is especially not a easy one if it is easy one you cannot call it an enterprise it's a, it should be a difficult one it should be a complicated and there should be a risk that means a business should always has a risk that's why enterprise means a project or a undertaking that is especially difficult complicated or risky or uh, let's have a second explanation what is it enterprise is that which involves taking risks showing initiative and a willingness to undertake new ventures it goes in the same line taking risks showing initiative showing interest to do something then a willingness to undertake new ventures ready to take any kind of the new ventures any risk that's the second explanation for the word enterprise let's move to the third explanation for the word enterprise enterprise is another word for a for profit business that is a profit making business or a company it's just another word for a company or a business but it is most often associated with entrepreneurial ventures see usually business is referred as a company organization firm but when somebody wants to refer to the entrepreneur or entrepreneurial uh, ventures then such times it is called as a enterprise people who have entrepreneurial success are often referred to as enterprising so entrepreneurs who are doing very well to build up their uh, business so they are called the enterprising people in simple enterprise is a unit of economic organization or activity so wherever that economic activity is conducted that is called enterprise or any economic or that means where the money profit business is uh, trans uh, uh, transactions of goods and services are taken place 
exchange of goods and services are taking place such units are called as a enterprise that's a simple form of this word okay let's move with the uh, further explanation just to recall in a gist and to catch the word enterprise in a short form i would say that this this could be the uh, meanings enterprise is a business venture any business venture you can just call it as a enterprise or a business organization enterprise is a business organization as you call any business organization you can call it as a business uh, enterprise it provides goods and services any uh, organization that provides goods and services that is enterprise so it creates jobs any organization that creating a job is can be understood as an enterprise it contributes to national income absolutely then it includes imports and exports then promotes a sustainable economic development so these are the aspects we can say that uh, enterprise so i hope you have understood the word enterprise there are synonyms to the word enterprise as you already you came to know for which all enterprise is called see now here i have given some in synonyms of enterprise so business the way word business refer to enterprise company enterprise concern enterprise establishment enterprise firm enterprise so it's not the same thing but for these you can compare okay sometimes a business is called as enterprise sometimes a company is called as enterprise sometimes a concern is called as enterprise sometimes a particular establishment is called as a uh, 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 enterprise and usually any firm is called as a enterprise i hope now you are clear with the word enterprise let's move with the another uh, uh, slide and that is uh, types of enterprise so i have missed a word here of you can add it okay of yes so types of enterprise so there are various types uh, just for your explanation i have come independent as a, a, a enterprise or a sole enterprise that is enterprise that is started and conducted by one person that is sole enterprise or independent is own another form is a joint enterprise or a partnership enterprise where two three people join together form the ideas put the money take the risk not one person rather two or more people that's called joint enterprise then there is a competitive enterprise a competitive enterprise means which enterprise that is giving a competition a started with the competition or started for the purpose of competition or another competitor has come up and standing with the competition that is competitive enterprise then there are supplementary enterprise supplementary enterprise it doesn't mean that uh, it is a main business you have you have one enterprise you are doing one business at the same time you uh, you have some other more, some more resource some more time some more so that you start in a side another business that is a supplementary business then complementary enterprise complementary enterprise you are conducting one business and to that business connected another business you are starting that is complementary business i hope now you have understood the word enterprise clearly with its types let's move with now the another word that is entrepreneurship so entrepreneurship is a creative and innovative response to the environment so entrepreneurship is a process it is it is a say second sentence i'll read it now itself it is all it is also the process of setting up a new venture by entrepreneur so uh, something is coming up something creative and innovative response to the environment given by one person is called entrepreneurship it is not the object it is not the person rather it is a process the particular activity of building up an particular institution is called enterprise is called entrepreneurship entrepreneurship is the mixture of many qualities and skills such as imagination risk taking ability to harness factors of production that is land labor technology and various other intangible factors 
Interpersonal is a mixture of qualities and skills. It's, it doesn't mean that entrepreneurship is a, just a, what a risk taking. It is all mixture of many things and major thing is the imagination that goes in the mind of a entrepreneur. In the Google, you just check it, the word entrepreneur and search for the images of entrepreneur and you will get maximum uh, images for the entrepreneur is a person who is sitting and thinking or person is standing and thinking that means imagination is going on that process is called entrepreneurship entrepreneurship can be described as a process of establishing an enterprise so this is very simple what you call uh, uh, meaning of uh, entrepreneurship entrepreneurship can be described as a process of establishing an enterprise so, next explanation for the word we have, entrepreneurship is a creative activity. It is the attitude of mind to seek opportunities, take calculated risk and derive benefits by setting up a venture. So, having some creativity in the mind, then a kind of attitude to seek the opportunity. What can I do? How can I go about? How can I earn? How can I establish that whole thing's attitude of positive attitude then optimistic then take calculated risk so calculation of the risk if I start what will be there is it going on well whether it is there is a risk all calculations are done then derive benefits by setting up a venture so you feel that everything is comfortable then you start a business then you uh, your aim is a benefit so this is what the entrepreneurship let's move with another slide this is the process of identifying opportunities in the marketplace collecting and arranging the resources to exploit these opportunities for long term gains this is another explanation of entrepreneurship i will just read you can understand very well because a basics of a word entrepreneurship you have understood next another two definitions i'll be giving so that you will get maximum amount of information of the word entrepreneurship entrepreneurship is the ability of a person to minimize the use of resources and to put them into the process and get the maximum benefit out of it Entrepreneurship is a process where the entrepreneur makes use of the resources at a minimum level and he make put them into a process and thinks of getting a maximum profit or a benefit. So he should take into consideration quality, excellence, consumer awareness for the sustainability of his business. Yes, he is uh, trying to bring down the uh, expenses minimum and maximum benefit at the same time he has to keep in mind the quality he has to keep in mind the excellence he has to keep in mind the consumer relationship and consumer satisfaction then only his business will be uh, running otherwise he has to close down the business therefore entrepreneurship is the product of teamwork and ability of an entrepreneur to create build and work as a team entrepreneurship or enterprise is not a one person's uh, property yes uh, entrepreneur is a person who is moving idea is framed yes but many people group getting together to work and that is called the entrepreneurship so let's have the definitions i have given here two definitions so let's uh, go through these definitions b higgins what he says Entrepreneurship is meant the function of seeking investment and production opportunity, organizing an enterprise to undertake a new production process, raising capital, hiring labor, arranging the supply of raw materials, finding site, introducing a new technique, discovering new sources, of raw materials and selecting top managers for day-to-day -day operations of the enterprise what it says is entrepreneurship is a process of bringing putting together all the things in the enterprise 
so what all aspects that are required for example it is given here is raising capital hiring labor arranging the supply of raw materials finding site introducing a new technique discovering new sources of raw materials and selecting top managers for to do operations what it says is all the aspects that are required for the enterprise or for production are brought together in the enterprise and bringing together them and putting in a organized way is called entrepreneurship that process is called entrepreneurship so it is according to b higgins please go through at least one minimum uh, minimum definition you learn it then muselman and jackson they have given one definition entrepreneurship is the investing and risking of time money effort to start a business and make it successful so this is very simple definition so anybody can uh, learn it entrepreneurship is the investing uh, and risking of time money effort to start a business and make it successful so next word we are going to learn is entrepreneur just before explaining this word i want to tell you see in the next class i'll be giving you all the details of word entrepreneur therefore here just for the sake of understanding these concepts together i am giving you the basic explanation of the word entrepreneur otherwise regarding the word entrepreneur we have to study a lot everything characteristic skills everything other matters therefore in the next class only the word entrepreneur i'll be explaining with the definitions and all therefore now just a brief explanation a short explanation just to have an idea who is an entrepreneur what is an entrepreneurship and what is a enterprise that's why i have given a brief explanation only in this slide an entrepreneur is an individual who creates a new business bearing most of the risks and enjoying most of the rewards so you know that the last last words are very en encouraging one enjoy most of the rewards but how bearing most of the risks you must know that he may enjoy the benefits but he has to bear most of the risks hard work has to be put in so a man who is starting any business is called entrepreneur in simple words i am telling you a man who is a uh, cause for the cause for the start of a business so it is not the man who is sitting there he is a manager manager is uh, cannot be called as entrepreneur sometimes entrepreneur is himself is a manager he himself is sitting and managing but sometimes a person owner is different one who owns has a, uh, made an idea so that's why this one entrepreneur is, is a man who starts the business the entrepreneur is commonly seen as an innovator a source of new ideas goods services a source of new ideas goods services and business or processes so if new idea is a bringing out the person who is owning the business is a entrepreneur then finally i can say entrepreneurs play a key role in any economy using the skills and initiative necessary to anticipate needs and bringing good new ideas to market this is a entrepreneur so regarding entrepreneur don't break your head much here so i'll be explaining in the next class and you will get a very idea just now be clear that any uh, a man who is starting any business is called an entrepreneur so this is a these are the words explanation i have completed here now just uh, i conclude and after giving this conclusion i have another slide to go okay so thus entrepreneur is a person you are very clear a person who is starting a business is entrepreneur entrepreneurship is a process process of uh, process involved in bringing all the aspects and the elements of the production together is called entrepreneurship and the object the particular this one uh, firm or a company or a business is called enterprise i hope that you have understood these three aspects what i wanted to say these are the basic things in the entrepreneurship development entrepreneur entrepreneurship entrepreneur uh, enterprise so if you understand this we can go ahead with the our subject matter very easily now our basic 
concept of study is entrepreneurship development so entrepreneurship development i want to just give you a brief idea here so entrepreneurship development process because this will be studying in the last chapter so since i have said that i'll be taking this first chapter first and from the first chapter i'll be jumping to the last chapter so that you will get a uh, entrepreneurship development process and my whole plan is all of you must get through uh, one uh, this one uh, assignment and create one plan one business so any kind of the business now itself you can start thinking that's why entrepreneurship development process idea i am giving here itself because our whole subject is learning the entrepreneurship development and my aim is to make you entrepreneurs so whether you do business in the future or not i am not interested in that but now in any way a theoretical business you have to do it and show it to me that's what my interest and uh, clear ideas of so how, what is mainly involved in the entrepreneurship development to start a business what is there so it has a uh, five stages the stage one is perceiving identifying and evaluating an opportunity so what is required now pandemic time what kind of the business i can do how i can do so is there any opportunity that searching is the first basic idea so without that thinking goes in your mind no business will come then uh, drawing up a business plan marshaling resources creating an um, uh, the enterprise consolidation and management so i have given a little explanation here see identifying and evaluating an opportunity is a difficult task opportunities do not appear from nowhere one has to be watchful for opportunities ideas come from various sources the opportunities should be evaluated carefully see it is very clear makes it. see opportunities are uh, appear from nowhere so, so do not appear from nowhere it, it has to appear from somewhere somewhere means you need to observe you need to watch you need to see where opportunities are there and ideas come from various sources it comes from your media why observing the people speaking to the people and all and after getting idea simply don't jump into the conclusions oh business could be started and i am getting this much profit for this month for day so it doesn't happen so you have to evaluate the project so after having identifying the project the next step is to develop a plan for the venture so once you have got the opportunity idea then plan it systematic planning then you have to uh, the further step is in the process is to assess the resource position what are the resources you are requiring men material and capital so everything you have to calculate what all things are required how much you have to spend and all and finally once the enterprise is established an entrepreneur should always look forward to indefinite future to growth development or at least continuation what it says is how i can grow my business okay i have started it's a running it does it's not over that after that you have to think of the growth think of the future what i can do developing your business or oh, nothing you want to do at least continuation of the business you have to think of otherwise you are waste of the energy of starting a business most of the times it happens that for a particular time it is started runs and closes off so such things should not happen it should continue so for the continuation you require the step called as i have said consolidation and management okay so here i conclude because these aspects throughout the subjects we will be concentrating about this process of the entrepreneurship development because our whole subject is learning about more and more entrepreneurship development therefore it doesn't mean it will stop here so throughout we are studying just a basic idea i gave here in my today's first class itself because you must have that idea entrepreneurship development is what how to start a business so in just i give here in detail in the sixth chapter we'll be studying about that therefore no worry but the basic today we have concentrated enterprise entrepreneurship and entrepreneur and in the next class we will be going with the word uh, entrepreneur so here i conclude my today's first class so i request all the students to go through every ppt so that you will get more and more information if you just read yourself you may not understand that's why i make a little attempt to explain every aspect here the 
you just go through all the videos because uh, we are putting a hard work behind every recorded class it's not that the just uh, offline classes as we come to the class and speak because here a lot of work has to go behind that and you see these ppts have to be prepared and it takes a lot of time typing preparing and all therefore uh, please respect our hard work and study well make use of our uh, classes thank you